In today's video, I'm going to give you five of my secret tricks for being more productive in Tana so you can skip the awkward learning phase and the false starts that often come with learning a new tool. Hey, my name's Ev and I create YouTube videos about how to level up your Tana workflows. And as I mentioned, today I'm giving you my top five tricks to be even more productive in Tana because let's face it, learning a new tool can often be awkward at first. Everything feels clunky and you feel like just shutting it all down and firing up whatever you used previously because it feels familiar. But if you can master a few key moves, you can skip the awkward first date and be well on your way to falling in love with Tana. So I've been using Tana for just under a year and in that time, I have collected hundreds of these tips and tricks to help me use Tana more efficiently. But I promise you, you don't need hundreds. The five that I'm gonna show you today are in my opinion, the ones that are gonna make the biggest difference for how you use Tana, how you navigate, how you find focus, and how you set up your workspace for maximum efficiency. So let's dive in. So the first trick that I'm gonna show you is how to use the quick add feature to get things out of your head fast without switching context. Because let's face it, switching context will kill your productivity. And Tana is one of the best tools that I have found for being able to work in flow, but still capture things really easily and get them out of your head and where they need to go. And honestly, this is one of the reasons that I stopped using Notion because I would be working in one area and I would have an idea and I needed to leave that screen, go to another screen, enter that thing in, and there was just a lot of clicking around uh, just to try and get things in. But with Tana's quick add feature, you can be working in one screen, have an idea for something completely different, and all you have to do is bring up Command E to open up the quick add, and you can just start typing in the quick add box. You can add as many nodes as you want. You can indent those nodes and add details. You can put a super tag on it to get it to where it needs to go. You can even run a command straight from that quick add box. And then all you have to do is hit the add to today button and that node goes straight to your day page and you can get back to doing what you were doing. So you can even take quick add to the next level by using Tana's voice capture feature. And I find I use this all the time now. All I have to do wherever I am in Tana is hit command K capture voice and then start talking. And all I have to do is hit transcribe and I've got the transcription and I can even run AI commands on that transcription. Now in another video I created, I talked about some of the different AI prompts that I use on my transcriptions to help me summarize what I was saying, make sense of it, extract tasks, do all sorts of things that a normal assistant might do. So if you wanna watch that video, I'm gonna put the link to it somewhere up above and you can go find it. Now, a big mistake that I see a lot of new Tana users making is worrying about where nodes should live. Should they live on the day page? Should they live in the library? Should you move them to the schema? Does it really matter if you move nodes around? And it can often get confusing, but the reality is that where nodes live in Tana rarely matters. And this can require a really big mindset shift when you first start using Tana, especially if you've come from a more traditional note-taking app where you have to do a lot of organization. But really in Tana, the only organizational structure that you need is the super tag. So as long as you create a node and give it a super tag, it's gonna go to where it needs to go and you don't have to worry about whether it's on the day page, in the library or wherever it is. It's gonna flow to where it needs to go. And that's good news for you because it means far less organizational work and far more real work for you. Talking about the inbox, that brings us to our second trick, which is to keep the inbox front and center. So I am notorious for never emptying my inbox. And that's because when something is out of sight for me, it's out of mind. So even though I can see that little inbox symbol on the left hand side, I very rarely used to go to it. So instead of letting all of those good ideas go to waste in my inbox, I put the inbox front and center on my day page so I would be reminded to look in it every time. Now, this is actually so easy to set up. All you have to do is go to your inbox, copy the link to that node, then head on over to your day tag super tag configuration and paste it in. 
Then anytime you open up one of your day tags, the inbox is right there. I would suggest putting it right at the top so that you always know uh, to have a look inside. Now talking about the day page, that brings us to trick number three, which is bringing everything together that you need into the day page so you can stay focused throughout the day without having to jump around anywhere else. Now everyone uses their day page differently, but what I would suggest is putting things on your day page that you access all the time. So go through your sidebar, have a look at all the different nodes that you've got going on, and think about the ones that you jump into regularly every single day. Those are the ones that you're gonna to wanna to maybe bring in to your day super tag so that you can just access them without clicking out and back in. And it's really, really easy. It's exactly the same as we did for the inbox. All you have to do is go to whatever node you want to put on your day page, copy it, go to your day page super tag configuration and paste it in. And now you have that live search, that node that you reference all of the time on your day page so that you can work in flow every single day. The kinds of things that I keep on my day page are things like my tasks and my projects that I can access easily. I keep meetings. I keep the notes that I'm working on, the ideas that I'm working on, the content that I'm working on. And so I don't have to jump anywhere else during the day. I can just sit in focus on my day page and get my work done. Now, if you wanna dive a little bit deeper into how to set up your day page for maximum productivity, you might like my video on what I include on my day page. So I will leave a link for it up above and you can check that out. Right, so we are almost there. And tip number four is about pinning nodes to your sidebar. Because let's face it, the sidebar can get pretty ugly, pretty fast in Tana. And no matter how organized you are, there are just some nodes that you're going to access more than others. And so for those ones that you access frequently, it's a really good idea to pin those nodes so that you can get to them fast without having to scroll through everything in your sidebar. So whenever you wanna pin something to your sidebar, all you have to do is go to that node, click on Command K and pin to sidebar. Then once things are in your sidebar, you can move them around, you can organize them however way that works for you. And if something's not needed anymore, all you have to do is press the little X button and it goes away. So some of the things that live in my pinned nodes are things like my focus hub, which is where I manage all of my tasks and projects and I can get to them easily. My Spark Creator Studio, which is where I manage all of my content. Uh, I've got my monthly and my yearly plans that I can access easily. And it's just a really great way to find the things that I need really quickly. Now, before we get to our last trick and stick with me for it, I wanna to talk to you if you feel like you're still in that awkward learning phase of Tana or you wanna take your Tana workspace to the next level. I suggest checking out my course, the Tana Fast Track course. I created this course just under a year ago and we have over 300 people who have gone through the course and built a Tana workspace specifically for them. The reason that I created it is really because there's a long learning curve when you're sitting here watching YouTube videos and I want to make sure that you can get up running really fast, skip the learning curve and build a foundational workspace that you can build upon and make your own. So as part of the course, I cover Tana fundamentals, Tana advanced tutorials. We install the six core workflows into your workspace as a foundation for something to build on. I show you how to actually take that foundation and make it into a workspace and workflows that work exactly how you work. And then I talk about how to create a workflow that helps you achieve mind like water. It helps you get everything out of your head, that it helps you find focus and flow every day and really helps you engage with the work that you wanna do in this world. So if that interests you, then I'm gonna leave a link to it below. I would love you to check it out and see you on the inside of Tana Fast Track. But now let's get to our final Tana productivity trick. So that brings us to our final trick, number five, which is setting up your workspace for both wide and deep focus. So one of the things that attracted me to Tana the most is how flexible it is when it comes to viewing your knowledge in different ways. You can have a lot of things on the screen at one time, or you can zoom all the way in to one thing so you can focus. Tana can get very busy and very distracting. So when I need to focus, all I do 
is click on a single node, zoom right on in, and everything else is like it hasn't even existed. And I can just work within that node. And when I'm ready to kind of come out of focus node, I can go to the breadcrumbs at the top and go back up, um, or I can head back to my day page or wherever I need to go. But other times you want to spread things out and see a lot of things on your screen at one time. And Tana's panels are fantastic for that. You can be working in your main panel and then hold down command and click the node and have that node come up in a separate panel. I find this really great for when I'm writing, I can keep my main writing screen open and I can have my notes open on the left. I also use it on my day page. I keep my day page kind of open and then I keep a focus bar on the left where I can see my agenda, my current energy level, um, what focus session I'm in and a whole lot of other things. And if you want to take it even further, you can actually save the layouts that you use all the time and access them from the left sidebar. So anytime you have a couple of panels set up, all you have to do is press Command K, save layout, and that will save that layout and you can come back to it at any time. And if you tend to use the panels quite a lot, saved layouts is going to save you so much time. So if you like these five ton of productivity tips, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to explore more about Tana productivity, then I suggest watching this next video on how you can create a focus sidebar that stays open all the time and has everything that you need in it. I think you will really love it. So till next time, enjoy leveling up your Tana productivity.